Uh, if you have been deported and you come to this state uh, and enter our state and you're here illegally and you commit crimes, we are throwing the book at you. And you are not, you are going to regret coming to the state of Florida. Right on, right on. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis issuing a warning during a press conference held this morning that anyone who attempts to come into the United States illegally through his state of Florida will be deported immediately. This comes two days after he issued a statement saying, uh, given the circumstances in Haiti, I have directed the Division of Emergency Management, the Florida State Guard, and the state law enforcement agencies to deploy over 250 additional officers and soldiers and over a dozen air and sea craft to the southern coast of Florida to protect our state. Let's bring in our panel to get their reaction to all this. Joining us now is retired ICE, ICE special agent and pro producer of a new documentary, Border Invasion, an American Crisis, Victor Avila, and Florida State Representative Fabian Basabe. Did I get that name correct, Mr. Representative? You did, sir. Thanks for having me. Excellent. Uh, Mr. Uh, Representative, Governor DeSantis isn't messing around. He has a clear track record of doing everything he can to keep your state of Florida safe, something that left-wing governors of New Mexico, Arizona, California can't say, correct? We don't mess around in Florida. We fully back the governor's efforts. I think that it's time that the federal government starts to follow Florida's lead. This is not this is not okay what's going on in the world right now. I mean, we are humanitarians. We care deeply for what's going on in Haiti. We have friends, we have great relationships there. We have representatives that are devastated right now in our legislature. I literally spoke to one of our representatives today who was crying. This is not okay. But at the same time, this is a reminder, we are a border state and we cannot have this. We cannot have this influx. We must protect our Floridians. We are taking proactive measures. And I think that, uh, I think it's going to be, you know, it's going to be at some dangerous times ahead. Yeah, Victor, you've been on the front lines watching as Joe Biden and the Democrat Socialist Party unleashed a massive invasion, primarily through Texas. You watched as Democrats' policies wiped out whole communities, mostly Latino communities, by the way. What's your take on Governor Ron DeSantis's response here? Well, it's kind of the irony here, Chris, that uh, I think we're living this in Texas. And um, now this is this is the problem that we're having, that we're having the states having to jump up and and step up and do the job of the, uh, the failed government, the federal government that hasn't done it. We've seen it uh, do it in Texas with Operation Lone Star. Now the state of Texas has to uh, step up and do it themselves. What we need to continue to do here is do the put the pressure on the Biden administration to do their job. Now, I've, I've talked to the, my contacts at CBP, Air and Marine, and they're getting very conflicting missions, let me tell you. Uh, and I'm specifically talking about the Haitians that are coming over. Some are saying mm -hmm. that they're going to be allowed to repel them and send them back, but then they're getting conflicting messages that some are going to be escorted uh, all the way into Florida. And the same thing with the with the with the National Guard, and this is very troublesome because the men and women uh, want to keep our country safe. They're just not being allowed by the Biden administration to do the right thing. And right now, they actually don't know what to do. The problem here, Chris, is if we get a first wave of Haitians into Florida, all bets are off. We're going to see exactly what we saw in Texas with a tremendous invasion, and of course. There's a, there's a lot of problems in Haitians. We're getting in Haiti. We're getting criminals. We're getting people that we have no idea yeah. what their intentions are when they hit this uh, this country. So it's a very very delicate situation that we must uh, keep us a close eye on. Right. We're hearing the we same thing you are that, that there are some, there. Yeah. Oh, right, hold on ahead. one second, Representative. Well, just 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 so you know, we're hearing the same thing. The Biden regime is is leaning toward just letting them bum rush Florida the way they've allowed. Uh, uh, illegal aliens from 168 other countries to bum rush the southern border the way they've been doing for the last three years. But, Mr. Representative, I want you to listen to your governor for one second. He's trying to prepare you Floridians for what's coming. Listen, I'll get your reaction. You have people coming across the southern border from all over the world. Haitians can get to the United States easier by flying to Mexico and walking across the border. And so I, I would anticipate if flights resume, that will likely be where a lot of those folks uh, who are trying to flee, if they want to come to the United States, they're probably going to go to Mexico and then come in through the border, knowing that Biden uh, will just let everybody in. 
Yeah, that, that, that's going to become a Texas problem. But we all know that there are people fleeing corruption and violence. And as you mentioned, Mr. Representative, it's, it's that way, and we all feel for those people. But we also know there are criminal gangs that could mix right in with these illegal alien flows and trying to get access to Americans. Mr. Basabe, what, what steps could be taken to make sure the illegal alien criminals don't enter the United States through your state of Florida? Well, I think our Coast Guard is our first line of defense, but we've deployed FDLE, we've got FHP, we've got helicopters, drones, we've got all of our state guard, we've got resources everywhere. I think the important thing and the responsible thing is to get a message to the Haitians that it is a mistake to think that coming to Florida illegally will be the answer to your problems. We also have legislation in Florida that if you are if you are deported and then you are returning again, if you intend to come in again illegally, you will be jailed. We are not playing games in Florida and we feel for you deeply, but where is NATO? Where is the United Nations? Where are, where are federal resources helping to reestablish order in Haiti? I mean, this is not a new problem. This, is, this has been oncoming. They've had decades of poorly managed government in Haiti. And, and we can't carry it all here in Florida. And we're doing our part and we're gonna stay strong. And, and, and really, again, anybody who can afford to, to not vote on policy in these upcoming elections is making a mistake. Haiti, the government the Clintons built. Victor, uh, you have a new documentary just released called Border Invasion, an American Crisis. It tells the real story of what's been happening at the southern border. The truth, much of the compromised press just doesn't want Americans to see. Now, once folks see your documentary, who are they going to be more angry at? Joe Biden and his Democrats for teeing up this disaster or the biased press for trying to cover it up? Man, I'm telling you, this, this documentary will, will, first of all, give you a very good briefing. If you have no idea what's going on at the southern border, watch this documentary. You can find it on uh, uh, stanfitzgerald.com at that website. It, it's going to give you a very good briefing and really good understanding as we shot from Eagle Pass, Texas. Uh, myself and other experts are really breaking down the day-by-day -day, uh, uh, you know, instances of how it's occurring. By the way, I want to mention a little bit quick on the Haitians. Uh, the Biden administration already allowed over 130,000 of them to come in, and, and the representative is right, and the Congress, uh, sent, uh, the governor is right. They're going to come through Mexico. Remember the, the invasion we had two and a half years ago in Del Rio, Texas? These Haitians were already in Mexico, and most of them had been in Mexico for many years. This documentary is going to break all that down, and uh, you get a very, very good understanding of what's going on, plus the risk and national security and public safety issues that we're facing in our country right now. Well, Victor Avila, thank you for the documentary and letting us know about it. And Representative Fabian Basabi, thank you very much for the visit, sir. We appreciate it. Some big news, folks, from Newsmax. We've been telling you about this, the new streaming service, Newsmax Plus. News